Today's video is brought to you by the United States of America. Because let's face it, people, the rest of the world doesn't give a about iMessage. Please hang up and try again. Hey, what's up, everyone? Louis Tran here. It's been about a year since my last video because I've been busy with this little guy. You know, I've been paying attention to the comments on my video on getting iMessage on Windows, and it still generates views, and people are still very interested on that topic. Uh, Dell Mobile Connect was a semi-decent solution a few years ago when I initially posted it. The problem is that the process was clunky. You had to do a handful of workarounds to get it to work for a non-Dell device, and it was unreliable. Um, from what I understand, Dell will stop supporting it as of January 2023. So, where do we go from here? It doesn't look like Apple is going to open up iMessage anytime soon. Well, you do have a few options. Uh, one, you could remote access into a Mac. Now, yeah, that's kind of lame, but it is the most straightforward solution in just logging in to your Mac at home on your Windows device and open up iMessage using remote access software such as Google Remote Desktop or Windows Remote Desktop. Now, two, there's this cloud-based app called Beeper. I don't have too many details on it, except it works with other messaging services, including Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and iMessage. Kind of like ADM and or Pigeon back in the uh, back in the old days. Um, I haven't used it because I'm still on your waiting list. Also, you do have to give up your login information for all the chat services you want to integrate into. Now, number three, there is Air Message. This is what I am currently using and the focus on what I want to cover today. What I did was repurpose an old MacBook Air. Uh, to being a, an iMessage server uh, using Air Message, I can send and receive iMessages on my Windows desktop, laptop, or even a Steam Deck through a web app. There is also a dedicated app for Android, which I personally haven't tried, but from what I hear, it works pretty great. You do have to log in using your Google credentials, and it syncs with your Google contacts, which you can sync using Google Sync, uh, the Google Sync app on your iPhone. So here's how to get iMessage to work. Step one, download AirMessage from their website at www.airmessage.org. Step two, install AirMessage on your Mac. It will ask you to provide your Google credentials. And like I mentioned earlier, it will sync with the contacts you have on your Google contacts. You can use a third-party app such as Google Sync to have your iCloud contacts sync with Google. Step three, download Amphetamine app. Run that and have it start so your MacBook doesn't sleep while you have the lid closed. Put the spare MacBook in a cool dry place because it will be running the whole time. Step four, once AirMessage is running, Go to your PC or any web browser. Hell, you could even use this on your Steam Deck if you want to be cool like that. Uh, it will, once again, ask you to log in using your Google credentials. Uh, depending on your browser, you can install this as an app. So, for example, on Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome, uh, go, to the, go to Apps and install as an app. Uh, agree to receiving the notifications if you want. Now, step five, if you have an Android phone, which I currently don't have, download the app from the Google Play Store and install it. It should be a straightforward process. Now, if you notice that your iMessage list is showing numbers instead of names, it's because you didn't sync your contact list with Google. And also note that sometimes it will take an hour for it to show up, which is what happened for me. And there you have it, folks. iMessage on any device with a browser. It may not be the perfect solution for you, but it has been working great for me for the past few months without any issues. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.